right, what's up guys? I'm Nick with Travel Far Eat Local. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And today I am in Kanazawa, Japan. This is the capital and largest city of Ishikaya Prefecture here on the western coast of Japan. And currently I am standing outside of Omicho Market. This is the largest seafood market in Kanazawa, main source of ingredients for restaurants and sushi restaurants in this city. Kanazawa sits on the coast of the Sea of Japan, so I'm sure we're gonna find some really good and really fresh seafood. In addition, this city is a bit unique with respect to the rest of Japan. It was spared from bombing campaigns during World War II. And so a lot of the original wooden houses, the tea houses, they still remain intact, all in the center of the city. So after the market, I want to take you guys on a tour of that part of the city, see some of these beautiful and preserved historic homes and tea houses here in Kanazawa. But first, let's check out Omicho Market, get the day started. I gotta get the mask on because I'm going inside of a market. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio. So Kanazawa actually happens to be, I believe, the rainiest city in Japan. And so it was pouring rain walking here this morning and now I have to carry this umbrella with me for the entirety of this vlog through this market. All right, so this is Omicho Market. It's actually a covered market of like walkways that kind of like snake their way through the market and it's all covered up top. But this is something that's interesting. You can actually get like sashimi that has already been prepared and just eat it like standing right here at these market vendors. Oh, this is Pollock Row. This is the same thing. That's the same thing that I saw or I had in um, Fukuoka, the Mentaiko. Sumisan. Kore wa Mentaiko? Mentaiko. So, Kanazawa, like I said, has some of the best seafood in Japan. Wow. And as you, yeah. Clams, sea snails. I wonder how they eat those sea snails. Wow, lots of crab, lots of crab. Uh, Sumisan, Kore wa doko desu ka? Uh, Kanazawa? Kanazawa. Kanazawa. I guess all this crab comes from Kanazawa. Look at how much crab this is. Kore wa doko desu ka? Kanazawa. Kore wa Ishikawa. Ah. Russia. Uh-huh. Uh, to Ah, ah. Literally still alive. You see it moving? Wow. There's a ridiculous amount of crab. Wow, look at how crowded this is getting. Check this fish out. Wow, I read this place can get crowded at lunch. Like I said, it's it's getting up there. 
That guy had so much crap. That's unbelievable. Oh yeah. All right, first place I'm eating is this spot right here. So this is all like prepared sashimi that you can just buy. Um, like that's urchin. That I think is a combination of tuna and maybe something else. Um, crab, I think. cooked crab that was. So yeah, this line is also pretty long, which is always a good sign at any food place in a foreign country. This umbrella is getting very annoying. I only have 3,000 yen cash on me. I hope this is enough because I doubt they take cards. That's another, that's a travel tip for people who are coming to Japan. Uh, you're going to be buying a lot of things in cash. A lot of places don't take cards. Here's all the urchin remains. And oysters. <laughs> Wow, this is a really long and slow moving line. Look at the size of these oysters. They're absolutely humongous. They remind me of what I had in Sapporo. They're like the size of my hand. Uh, oyster Ichi. Uh, the urchin uh, Ichi. And um, kore wa nain desu ka? Salmon. Salmon. Uh, and kore? Uh, yellow tail. Yellow tail. Yellow tail. Okay. Uh, one of these two. Ichi. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Arigatou gozaimasu. So I got an urchin, some yellowtail, and uh, one of those big clown shoe oysters. Which I think he's shucking back there right now. These shrimp also look really good. But can't spend all my money at one place. I think I'm getting sushi after this too. Uh, Okay. Yeah. 2100. I think that's two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm trying to hold this, a GoPro, and an umbrella all at the same time. Not easy. Not easy to do. Okay. So, here. Look at my little setup here. I have my GoPro propped up on this like little footstool, I think is what it actually is. Pretty excited about this urchin. I haven't had urchin yet since I've been back in Japan and it looks really good. They had another set of urchin that was like, um, there was no price on it. So I think that was like the quote unquote like really good urchin that is probably significantly more expensive than the 700 yen I just paid for this urchin, but I think this will be good either way. Okay, so there's a bunch of bottles here with Japanese letters on them. I have no idea what they say. That one is probably soy sauce for the yellow tail. I'll use that. All right, I'm gonna leave the urchin for last. Save the best for last. So 
Move my urchin to the side here. Little soy sauce. Probably get the urchin spines out of there. That would be good. Little soy sauce for the yellowtail. All right, a little bit of wasabi. These are big too. These are like big meaty pieces of yellowtail. Hmm. Wow. That is so unbelievably fresh. There's a ridiculous amount of wasabi in this bowl too, which is kind of unusual for Japan. Mm. These are huge pieces of fish. These are like beefy. They also have some of these like darker pink ones. I'll show you here, look. These are like a darker color. He said it was all yellowtail, but I'm not totally sure. Let's give it a try. Little dunk in the soy sauce. Wow. It's like so unbelievably fresh. Cold, crisp, absolutely perfect uh, breakfast food here. My favorite breakfast food actually. Wow, filling. These pieces of fish are so big. Okay, I'm gonna give this oyster a shot. I don't know how to even show you guys this because it's so big, I need both of my hands. Look at the size of it. Do you eat this all at once or do you just like... Normally I would just like eat it out of the shell, but this is just so huge. Little lemon juice, I think, for the oyster. Yeah, little lemon juice. Do you just eat all at once? The whole thing? Do you just eat the whole thing all at once? One time? Okay, all right. Mmm. Wow. It is incredibly fresh, holy crap. Tender too. It's so big, I thought it would be a little, like really big oysters can be tough, but that was like really tender. I hope that was on camera. I don't, I don't know. I, there's like no way that I can <laughs> ensure that that's gonna be on camera. Filming this by myself. Okay, last but not least is the urchin. So they give it to you like literally right in the urchin shell. <clears throat> Here, let me show you. It's like literally right in the, the actual like urchin shell. So let's give this a, let's give this a go. This is like one of my absolute favorite things in the entire world. I've never actually eaten it out of its shell like this either. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's really good. A little bit salty, creamy, just fantastic basically. Okay, well, that's my breakfast for the day that I have completely destroyed. So yeah, let's move on and see what else we can find in this market. Japanese markets have so many packaged goods and dried goods, and I never have any idea what any of it is because all of it is in Japanese. And I know it's something related to fish because there's a fish on the packaging.
So this place had a huge line and I don't know what it is, but they are basically making these like pre-made dough cakes of some kind, battering them and then dressing them in whatever that is. And I'm going to try some. They have different flavors like octopus, shrimp, crab, beef, basically like seafood cakes or something that you can eat. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna probably pick the one that has the least number left, meaning that's the most popular, like the crab one. Konnichiwa. Uh, ichi of the crab? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Arigatou gozaimasu. Ah. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have. Battered fried uh, crab cake thing. Oh my God, they're hot. That was really hot. That literally just came out of the fryer. There goes the bottom of my tongue. I hope I can still taste it after that. <clears throat> really soft. This kind of tastes like, um, it doesn't, there's not like a huge crab flavor. It's like really doughy. The outside is like fried, almost like panko crumbs. And um, some chunks of crab inside. But like, it just tastes kind of like, uh, like fried dough with like a little hint of crab. It's really good. When you order it, remember to let it cool down for a second. I can't feel the tip of my tongue. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Let's head out of the market. Cause like I said, it's pretty small. Not a whole lot left to see. And go to the historic part of Kanazawa. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit.